burning down. Oh, 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 we're live. Good morning. How are you? Uh, it's, well, snowy, sunny, minus two. I am so glad that I worked out about our, uh, about why our heating wasn't working and we actually have warmth. I'm very, very grateful these days for, you know, food in my belly and a roof over my head. Good job, eh? How are you all? Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, it was the weekend. Um, God, dear, nearly broke me. Wow. Yeah. Couple of dogs, couple of kids, snow, dog in season, so has to be on the lead. The other one, a hound, so she puts her nose down, goes, so she has to be on two dogs on leads, small child with a wobbly wheel, uh, and then another one that just, you know, no spatial awareness, just goes in front of you everywhere, and, uh, and paths that were basically ice. So much fun, the most relaxing dog walk ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are here to tell the tale, so this is excellent news. Um, so what was the highlight of your weekend? That's what we want to know. I have I've had some little sewing times thrown in as well. This morning we are going to talk mocha blocks. Mocha what now? Mocha blocks. Oh, hang on, I've got dry hands. Uh, so the mocha block is, um, was designed by my friend Hayley. And a lot of you, if you watch over on Hochanda, will know Hayley from there. She's one of the presenters there. She also... Um, does shows for other people as well but she's worked in the quilting industry for years she used to um work for i think is it husqvarna um but anyway she knows her way around a sewing machine she knows her way around a quilt gosh my hands are dry uh and um so she's she's fab and um and she's come up with some cracking things because she quilts she knows what we need uh which is really handy and uh, you know Jane does her show on a Wednesday and I am always in complete awe of her because she's always got her notebook and she scribbles down an idea and she knows, her brain knows how it's going to look and then she sits there and she calculates um, how much fabric she needs and what she needs to cut of this, that and the other and I just sit there and go, pass me another charm back then, I'll just uh, do another square quilt. Um, so unless it's something like a creative grid i'm completely lost i just i don't know where to start so when i saw Haley's mocker block i i was hooked that was it i was like that is brilliant that is genius that means that i can create blocks that aren't even out there um that aren't traditional that are just for me and uh, and that's that's really great so we're going to go through that today we're going to look at fabric that is going to be suitable for that because the beauty of this is that half meter heavens are your friend absolutely i've got liberty fabric by the half meter for you uh, we've got all sorts of goodies on the show but the mocha block is going to be the star for sure and if you want Haley's binding gadget that i've been using and using and using if you want the two together we've popped a little um, a little discount on those together you'll see them bundled so let's see who we've got today. Ah, Pam and Mary. Good morning to you early birds and Jane and Helen. Hello and Anne and Janet. Good morning and Martine and Heather. Hello. It's lovely to have all your company and Jan and Beverly. Good morning um, and Ella and Sheena. Hello and Kaz. Oh, oh you see we complained about having to de-ice the car You've got to de-ice the boat. Now, that's not funny. Um, good morning, Laurie. How are you? Um, Barbara and Jane, hello. And Janet as well. And Helen, good morning, everyone. Hope you're all well, she says. Um, hi, Kate. How are you? Um, I told Jane not to come in so she can come and see you today. I just thought, do you know what? I'm not having a drive this far on the icy roads. Go look after everyone, haven't you? Um, <laughs> whilst Inga, who used to drive buses and coaches and stuff, all over the world was like i'll be in see it i'm northern <laughs> she came in this morning and i kind of didn't expect to see you this morning she looked took one look at me she said i'm northern i was like okay well it's lovely to have you here so that was all good um freddie thought he'd get out of his spellings because it was no day i'm like 
Still going to do spellings, mate. Snow or not. Um, Jacqueline says, good morning, Natasha. Nothing like multitasking. We love a good multitask. Jeez. <sighs> Uh, Heather says, good morning, Natasha, from a sunny and cold uh, South London. Good morning. Uh, when life gives you Mondays, um, dip them in glitter and sparkle all day. Oh, hi, I love that idea. Um, I stayed up and ready to go. Oh, Lisa, Heather. So, <laughs> so Lisa is a designer who you are going to see a lot of on Natasha Makes. It's very exciting. Um, but she's in Australia. <laughs> and uh, so we try and coordinate and I chatted to her the other night when I was driving back late after a show from Hochanda and then um, this morning I was like hi I'm up she's like are you mad it's four o'clock in the morning I'm like best time of the day so poor lady had to witness me no makeup hair <laughs> all over the place and Stephen's bought me one of those long hot water bottles that goes around your neck I looked a treat didn't I Lisa I looked an absolute gem um but my goodness we've got some stunning treats coming from to the side of the world uh we've got debbie and carol and sharon and rona good morning natasha and team very wet no snow here and i'm in aberdeenshire oh we've got we've got a good few inches i have to say yeah 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 and the dogs do that oh hi april now april what part of australia i know we've asked this um i want to say you're I don't know. I'm going to make it up Adelaide just because of the, you know, alliteration, but I'm not sure. Um, Fiona, good morning. And Jackie and June and Jennifer. Well, I mean, that works, doesn't it? Jackie, June and Jennifer. If we're talking alliteration. And Joe. Oh, fabulous. And Jean. <laughs> the J's just keep coming. Looking forward to four days of Natasha Makes this week. Yeah, Joe's clocked it. It is uh, the end of the month, which means that it is our very first... Um, presenter well sort of guest designer takeover day which means that john cole morgan will be here on friday yes tomorrow is joe carter weather permitting um, and she's got a beautiful panda book cushion which is just stunning and then we've got jane with one of her delicious makes on wednesday uh, la, la, la. Oh, Pam says, highlight was reviving pictures of my grandchildren playing in the snow. Oh, yeah. Um, there's there's a lot of those. I, it just makes me giggle when people are like, yep, here's my obligatory. My child went out in the snow picture. It's true. We all do it, right? Um, oh, Kirsty's finished the Kelms Hook quilt. Well done. She's very proud of it. Thank you both. And Jane, hey, look, I... I just said, Jane, here's lots of William Morris. Can you do stuff? And she went, yeah, like did her magic-y stuff everywhere and did it. Um, looking forward to seeing more on the block template. You hinted at in the last email. Oh, April, you're going to love it. Uh, <laughs> Ali says, morning, Natasha and Natasha's gang. Yeah. Uh, the highlight of my weekend, my neighbor's face getting a telling off by the police. Elizabeth, behave yourself. Um, well, she needs to behave. Uh, was doing block of the month, block one and two done. Three of block three done. Quick question, are we still waiting on block four? Oh, uh, Susan, um, that will be one for Jane. Kate, can you give her a nudge if she's with you and ask her because I've completely lost count. I think so. I think so. It was one of the ones that we were waiting for some extra fabric that's, I don't know, I, it's just, going around the globe three times I think uh Karen and Linda hello and Tracy good morning from a lovely sunny Hastings I love Hastings and Rye as well really beautiful parts of the world um oh Myra says this is great got mine ages ago need a refresher course welcome uh and Sharon says good morning watching you live on a snowy day as could get car couldn't get the car off the drive um and thank you my tilda came this morning yeah. Oh, highlight, Leanne says, was my little man's fourth birthday yesterday. Bless him. Uh, that age is just scrumptious. It's just fabulous. And lots more fabulous, fabulous. Um, oh, it's Elizabeth's birthday. Well, uh, happy birthday, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Coates, good morning. Happy birthday. Um, good morning. Just. It is morning. We're all good. Um, hello. Jojo, how are you? Uh, constructing bunny boxes whilst watch, what, like actual bunny boxes, as in like we'll live outside bunny boxes, or I don't know, in my head I only have, what was that show? Um, was it Sleeping with the Enemy, with the, like, where we basically got the term bunny boiler from? Was that the one? Um, morning, Nikki. 
Uh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, morning, Sue. Looking forward to this show. It's going to be a day uh, sewing in my war uh, in the warm. Do you know, Sue? I don't blame you. I absolutely don't blame you. Now, you see, Sue, you know um, Haley very well, don't you? She's she's a bit of a genius, <laughs> Lisa. Oh, bless you. Moved on to tea now, Lisa. She's like, how do you manage coffee, coffee, and more coffee? So, but now it's tea. Um, the beauty of the mocha block is that it works beautifully with your half meter heavens. Okay, and uh, just to give you an idea, it's probably basically a fat quarter's worth in there. But that's you know that's that's easy. That was that's up there as as a half meter heaven. But not only did it do that, it also oh here they are in my block keeper. That would be where. But it also did that block. Well, I, I mean, to be fair, I did cheat and get some green. But, you know, it would have done, the blue would have done it as well. Because obviously, whee, I'm still using the same half meter of the Riley Blake. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those things that I wanted to show you what a difference just a color change made. And um, that's very pastel, very gentle. And when I make that into a cushion, I will probably edge it in green, I think. I might, just because I really did love that green coming through. And um, so I know that a lot of you get the half meter heavens and then go, I don't know what to do with it. Um, I, I think I always imagine them as being for bags and, and things like that, so that you've got a lining and something that's gonna work. But of course, we build up our stash for quilting as well. So that is that's it in sort of pastels but then what a difference it makes with the green so this is on the website as the half meter heaven and you know all of our half meter heavens are 9.99 um but if you want and this is the last of this color of the green salt batik um i think it's fern green or something no moss green then um i've got six half meters left which pairs beautifully with the riley black look 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 Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm all a wobble on my camera. What did I do? What did I do? There we go. Let me get you that close up. Sounds about that, peeps. There we go. Oh, helps if I actually press the button. There, look, how beautiful is that? But you see, equally gorgeous with that pale blue. That pale blue is an absolute pig to photograph in the light box. It never comes out very strong, but it's such a delicate, delicate powder blue. It's ever so pretty, but just what a difference putting that green with it makes. And everybody has got, you know, different choices, different preferences. So what I wanted to show you was some of our half meter heavens, because we've got a lot on the website, and just show you how having a strong contrast is going to work beautifully and i want you to tell me which one you want to demo in because we're going to demo the mocha block in a minute um but you get to choose now what i suddenly realized is that we have got quite a lot of this range in there now this is Christopher Wilson Tate. How beautiful is that? And if you want it paired with something quite bright there, quite contrasty, then we've got it with that gorgeous blue there. Now, from the same collection, there's your sort of Paisley's I love this. And we've put it with sort of a buttermilky, that's not actually its name, but it should be just so that you've got, it's not exactly the same, it's a tone lighter. But if you wanted, and you wanted to build up the collection and have all these colors, they're all going to work. And then again, from the same collection, this time we went with the lighter blue. So you've got that beautiful blue there, which really makes that ping. But again, if you wanted to add it in with that, it's gonna work. And with that, it's going to work. And suddenly you've got three planes that are working there. And then for me, the pièce de résistance 
is the, the plaid that you've got with it. It's got quite a weird name, but it's all under your half meter heavens, all on the deals page for you. So, and again, that picks up all of those blues. You might have some of this from when we did the stretch nine patch. But again, just look how beautifully that's gonna work in with all of these. And we've put that one with that powder blue. So in that collection, and I'm gonna go onto this camera for this. What you've got here is, you've got those blues, you've got those, so you've kind of got an ombre of blues there, which is just gorgeous. All of these different fabrics that work, and then you've got that lovely shade there. I mean, you could also put that there. So I didn't know if you guys realised that we had so much Christopher Wilson Tate on the, um, on the website, but it's on there, and I'm expecting more in any day. Hooray! Um, I love his designs. They are absolutely glorious really beautiful so maybe we could work with some christopher wilson tate because we haven't done a lot with christopher wilson tate stuff um it's just come in and gone out so fast as half meter heavens that we've never really had a chance but there they are beautiful if you fancy those let me go and have a look on the dresser Ugh. right so i went through this morning in the warehouse and I wanted to find something for everyone's taste but I wanted to find stuff that had quite a strong um, contrast but that still went so like that one that's quite a strong contrast so that when we're using the mocha block you can really see because the mocha block uses black and white so that you can really see the design so I thought well why not then go with quite a strong mix for you so that was my kind of idea so this is take the sticker off Unreal Horners oh, Ghost Nouveau I adore this look at that <sighs> and so much that you can use that for I mean I would actually cut that into strips and use that for sashing you've got such uh, colour and big blocks of colours too so when you use your leftovers for your English paper piecing and yes that is on its way with us don't you worry oh and for those of you that wanted foundation paper piecing John Carl Morgan's going to do a bit of that on, uh, on Friday for us as well there was no point in me attempting it. He's got to teach us all. But look, we've put that and that together so that you've always got a contrast. No matter which part you're using, you've always got a contrast. And I just love that. You've got that soft blue with it. Beautiful. All of these just $9.99. Now, uh, what about Busy Lizzie? So K Facet Collective's Busy Lizzie. And of course, they've got so much color going on there but we picked out that green and again these are not always easy to um to take photos of so there you go there's your busy lizzie and your green and that's just going to be gorgeous together yeah. or if you want to go a slightly darker green pick up one of those and have that contrast but keep with the green now um have you decided have you guys got any ideas what you'd like moda three sisters let's go classic moda three sisters there now this was the one that just we've put this with a natural seeded cotton it's exactly the same from exactly the same range as all of our other planes but that softness there just beautiful with that maybe we'll play with that one Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You need to decide. You need to decide. Um, or what about a little bit of Tilda? Now we matched this with one of ours. It was really hard to match. It's really hard to match Tilda with anything other than Tilda planes. But we've done it with that pink there, and again, given quite a striking change. But again, up to you. Again, this is going to be a lovely one if you want to sash with it, or if you want to go that way. That's going to give also. Uh, an exciting difference to your makes now I love this with the orange look at that that would look so much fun and you'd really see these patterns that we're looking at with that 
So again, that's an option. Um, another Anna Maria Horner, but this time with Peacock. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I love that. I love that. Maybe we'll use that. Who knows? Have we got collection? Have we got, have we got um, any ideas? Now, if you've got little ones and you're thinking about doing a play mat, can I interest you in a little Lewis and Irene? I love it. Freddie loves this one. Um, any leftovers and I'll be making him a little mask out of this and maybe a new lunch bag. Look, it's got tigers and monkeys and koalas. Oh, and crocodiles, ovs. But we've picked out that orange and we've taken that orange and I really, really love that. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we will, maybe we will. But then you see, this is the joy of having children, isn't it? What you do for one, you do for the other. Then I had to find a fabric that would suit Captain Small and she loves the ducks. And I just wanted to pick out that, that hit there of white. That would look gorgeous too. Which one are we gonna work with? Which one, which one? Oh, and then the donuts. It's not called donuts. It's got a really posh name. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? I can't remember. This is from Free Spirit, Step by Step. Why does everything always come down to food with me? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this one got put. I mean, yeah. Or we could have gone with that acid green, but just beautiful. So they are there. Now, I know that, that there's some big colours in there, some traditional, some big colours. That's what we always want to bring for you. Um, it doesn't get a lot more traditional than Liberty over here. So, whoops, we had a little bit more Liberty come in, so I wanted to show you. Uh, and this is Paisley Meadow, which is rather gorgeous. So if I were gonna do it with the Paisley Meadow, I would team it with the uh, Baltic. So, or you could go with the navy, it's up to you. So what I've done is I've put these for sale by the half meter, you choose how much you want because this is just too stunning not to have in your collection and we've teamed it with a plane that works perfectly with it. So you, we've got what we've got, when it's gone, it's gone, but you choose how much of that you want in your life. Quite a lot if you're me, quite a lot. And then this came in, oh, uh, yes. Isn't it stunning? Isn't it stunning? Which then just works so delicately and beautifully with the blush. Oh, Lisa, you know how you were saying we needed to get a, a pink blush? You did that one. Isn't it gorgeous? But then if I wanted to have yet another, yeah, I've got that paisley Paisley Meadow in just a black and white, which means that actually that will work with anything. You can put your favourite colour, that's such a useful one to have because that will work with any colour. Whatever your favourite colour, that will work with. I mean, yes, look, you could put it with that. Perfect. You could put it with any of those colours, put it with a hot orange. It'd be amazing. Um, so those fabrics are slightly different because they, I mean, gosh, they work rather beautifully all together. Look at that. Ha ha, yeah, that's a bit special, isn't it? But they are all on the website, they're all there for you, and these ones today are all um, cut to order. So you say how much you want in uh, half meter increments, and we will merrily cut it for you. Got labels now everywhere. Get rid of those. In the bin. Oh, missed. Never mind. Uh, okay, have we decided which one we're going to demo with? What are we saying? What are we saying? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, morning, watching my last live show. Season starts next Monday. Yes, spring is around the corner. Oh, my goodness. Um, a few inches of snow would not stop me. Uh, drove with a lot more snow in the USA. Yeah, but Laurie, you're hardcore. You are hardcore. 
Morning, says Liesl. Uh, no snow, but very heavy frost here. Brr. It's minus four this morning. Oh, Sunshine Coast in Queensland. April, because I've never been to Australia and my geography is dreadful, I will probably keep asking that and please don't be offended. It's just that until I actually get the map out and look and see where you are, um, I think that all of Australia is sunshiny. So, um, and that's, that's my error and I'm going to put it right because I'm working with more and more and more Australians because I think you're all fabulous and I love your energy and your enthusiasm. Um, and I, yeah, yeah, just, ah, yes. No snow and fairum, says Lynn. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Did we have any... <laughs> Elizabeth said, is Joe going to turn the bear wall hanging into a hat for Captain Small? She has she has demanded it. There they are, the little bears. Uh, yeah. She <laughs> when she wants something, she points at it. Make it mine, mummy. Make it mine. Mm. Uh, and then she just keeps putting it on her head. Uh, Ali says, I think it's lovely that the children and adult can experience snow. Love seeing the videos and the photos and all having fun. Absolutely. So unfortunately, our otter hound likes the snow a little bit too much. So <laughs> every snowman attempt that Freddie made just got squashed. Um, yeah. Oh, received my cave dancing daily a half meter heaven fabric Saturday. Love it, Natasha. Janet, it, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gorgeous. Um, Becky says, sorry, late to the party. My son, who never calls, rang at 9.55 today. Honestly. I know. <laughs> there is something weird, isn't there? I mean, even when I do these shows and then my brother might call, I'm like, really? 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 Fatal Attraction. It was Fatal Attraction, wasn't it? Thank you, Susan. Uh, next question was, who was in it? Oh, Margaret's watching the cricket. And we'll catch up with us later. That's all right. In your own time, Margaret. Yeah, it was Fatal Attraction with the Bunny Boiler, you see. Glenn Close. Yes, Gemma, it was Jen Close. Uh, small cardboard boxes for Easter treats shaped like bunnies. Okay, that, that's better. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You could have been like rivaling pets at home or something and deciding to make like outdoor bunny boxes or something. But yours sounds better than the Glenn Close version. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah, Susan. So far we've done one, two, three, mm, skipped four. We'll do that. Five, skip six. So yeah, four and six and eight to go. There we are. Um, good morning, gorgeous lot, says Lo. Good morning to you. How are you? Right, did we decide? Oh, the block keeper is on my list of things to do, says PT. Yes, it should be. Absolutely should be. Um, did anybody actually... Did anybody actually say which one they'd like? I have three colorways of mode, a sweet violet, trying to think of a, pla a plane that will go with them. Any ideas? Yes, the green. Yes, yes, yes. The green is beautiful with the, with the, with the um, violets that's in there. Really beautiful, really beautiful with it. Um, Ghost Nouveau, Anna Maria Horner. Loving the retro star fabrics with the pop of playing colours with them is fabulous. Well, that's what we, yeah. Please use the duck, says Pam. Bankara Wilson Tate, says Helen. Oh, so no one, like none of you have actually come up with the same one. Use the donuts. <laughs> Loving the liberty. My tilda's just arrived. It's beautiful. A uh, bit late, been playing with the dog in the snow. Bubba, that's all okay. Right. Okay. Next person to message on here and we'll use that fabric. In the meantime, let's have a look at what the mocha block is. So when you get your mocha block, um, you get to choose whether you make, this is the nine inch block. Anna Maria Horner. Okay, Jacqueline, Anna Maria Horner it is. Um, Gem, could you take the quantities down by one please because I'll use the Anna Maria Horner the uh this one here that one there we are I mean that that's how it is because um yeah if you if you choose that's what we go with uh ducks liberty donuts <laughs> we're gonna be here all day we're gonna make a block from each at this rate aren't we uh, 
Oh, well, it depends, isn't it? Maybe I should do the blocks for Captain Small. Morning, Tasha. Received my Aurifil grey, green and blue thread. Beautiful colours. Geraldine, are you feeling better? Are you feeling better? Oh, I love it. So, yes, you get the frame, which I just put a little bit of sellotape on the back just to hold in place because I'm clumsy otherwise. But you can either do it as a 9-inch square or a 12-inch square and put in, like, extra little bits dunk 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 so it is like a jigsaw for adults basically that's what we're looking at here so you decide so if you do if you do the nine inch square then you will have um you'll have a nine patch block if you do the 12 inch then you'll have a 16 patch block okay don't sit there like me and go 16 patch but it's only 12 inches Sure. Yeah. So the penny took a minute for me <laughs> to drop. And I'm going, that's not right. That's not right. No, it was right. It was completely right. Hayley knows what she's doing. It doesn't make sense. So, uh, yeah, I just want to clear that up. Nine inch block or a 12 inch block. Um, but you're either going to have, because it's done in three inch increments, a nine patch block or a 16 patch block so we're going to start we're going to go really really basic and we're going to go with the nine patch block okay which is the first one so don't don't lose these for goodness sakes don't lose these um and the beautiful thing is that you get to choose what you want to do because we're not all jane who's amazing and just knows stuff so you can get what you get with it is your patch calculator so we'll look at that in just a minute you can photocopy it you can do whatever um, and then you get your patches now you also get in here instructions like so and on Haley's website you can also download like an ideas block. So if you want ideas as to how to do nine patches, this is just an ideas sheet. I should have printed this off in color because it's got, it shows you how everything goes together. So we can either borrow one of those or we can do our own, but it's just, it's there, isn't it? I love this. Just beautiful. And you start to see different things. So, um, Ba, 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 ba. Morning, Natasha and all. Ordered mine last night. Excited, says Leslie. Yes. Valerie says, hi, Natasha. So much temptation as always. Please, can you tell me the pattern re uh, repeat measurement for the Liberty Emporium Wild Bloom Fabric? Thank you for using it for a kaleidoscope quilt. Well, yes, Valerie. In one moment. Actually, let's do it now before I forget. Soz, everybody. Bear with, bear with, bear with. Ooh. From there to there, it is approximately ten and a half inches. There we go. Hope that helps. not folding that very well today um all right so yeah as we were so you get with your pack you get these so these are like your jigsaw pieces so you get three inch squares pieces to make up your three inch half square triangles pieces to make up your three inch quarter square triangles one inch times three inch pieces one and a half times three and a half inch pieces and one and a half inch squares so you get all of these now they are black on one side and white on the other and that's how you uh, you start to work out your design so let's have a little look at what we fancy doing and if I do it far enough up here then hopefully I won't have to move it and I can keep it there as a reference so what do we fancy doing and this is the really nice thing, you know, you can just play. So maybe we want to pop that in the middle and have 
half square triangle there. And by flipping it around, you get, that's why I wanted to bring you fabrics today that had a contrast so that you could really get the idea and you can, because part of it's about learning, isn't it? And learning what you'll see with it. So maybe you want to do that. Uh, maybe we want to then create some quarter squares. Oh, silly me. <laughs> maybe we want to do these then. So you just you just flip them over. Like this. There we go. Like so, and then maybe we'll repeat that up there. I like, I didn't plan this show. So, you know, if you would rather we did a different design or you're shouting at so I basically want to use one of each to show you. Okay, that's kind of all I'm after today is to show you how to how to use each of these. And we're going to get something gorgeous at the end of it. I'm pretty sure of that. So we've got something that's going to give us an interesting repeat if we choose to do that. And if you wanted to size this up for an entire quilt, then I'll, I can show you that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh. Now maybe we want to just go easy and just have that there and that there. And maybe what we want to do something like that than in the middle. But the beautiful thing is, is that you get, you get to see it. And if you don't like something, you just move it around. What do we think so far, peeps? It's a really clever system, Fiona, really clever. It's one of those things that you look at it and you go, oh, why didn't I think of this? Um, so then that just leaves these that we haven't done, so maybe we want, do we want to do that and that there? Or do we want to go smaller and go white, then black, then white? Or do we want to spin it and have it so that What does that create? Oh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? That gives us something different straight away. If we did that. You see, and I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be able to look at this and work this out. It's like, what have I, what have I done here? What have I created? What do you think? Should we go with that? Elizabeth, I could play with it for hours. Yeah, the concept is fabulous, April. It's really great. Lots of playtime when I'm not sure what I would end up sewing, just keep creating new ones. But that's it, you can. That's absolutely it. Um, I'm looking forward to receiving mine, says Pam. Absolutely. Shall we go with this? I think you get the idea. So... Shall we go with this design or do we want to change any of it? Is there anything there that you want to check? Oh, hang on. You see, this is the danger, isn't it? You then go, well, what happens if I change that to that and that to that? Ooh. What do you think? Do we keep it in the same place? There's a little bit of a delay, isn't there, on, on this going out and you guys typing. Do we do that? I quite like I like that. I really like that. Yeah, looks good, says April. Should we keep it like this? Should we do this one? Is that a yes? Oh, I said I was going to use every type of square, though, didn't I? I haven't quite. There's just one that I haven't used, but that's okay. 
that's the joy of it. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Eight percent. She's like, yes. Okay. So we <laughs> we're blaming. If this goes horribly wrong. Oh no no. Donna's there as well. She's like, yes, yes, yes. Cool. So let's put then the rest of our blocks to the side. Right. Because uh yeah becky Ooh, it's fab it really is i remember when Haley first launched it it took her three years to get this made and um yeah you see you can just but this is the beautiful thing isn't it is that you get you get to be the designer and you get to see instantly what works and what doesn't and then you know you can take that design and you can take that to um to a, to a book and then and if you want to repeat the pattern to see what it's going to look like then do uh, it's entirely up to you so we'll put those pattern pieces to the side but I know now that I've I've got this and if I sash it this is what it's going to look like um, <laughs> take a photo before I change it again no I'm going to keep it like this Yes, prefer this tweak to the design. But this is it, isn't it? It's, yeah, yes, Geraldine, it's basically a quilter's jigsaw. It, that's exactly what it is. And I'm surprised that that's not what it's called because it really should be. But no, it's called a mocker block. Um, so this is, it, this is it. And if you love jigsaws like we all do, then you're laughing. So with that in mind, and are we set now on this fabric? Yes, yes, no, no. Or do we want to go with the ducks? You know, because I rather like the ducks too. Oh, decisions, decisions. Um, so now we get out our patch calculator. Now this is laminated. So if you've got a wipe off board marker, you can use that or you can just photocopy it to get your, um, to get your copies. And so you pop your project name. So here we go. Make it Monday. Oh gosh. Make it Monday. And this is what we're now going to do. We're going to do, we're going to do maths, peeps. It's all right. Uh, block number one. Uh, let me just check. This is going to come off. Yes, it is. That's all right. So, and you basically, you go through. How many black three inch squares did I use? Two. Did I use any of the white ones? No. Ducks, 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 ducks. Oh, yay! Ducks. Go with ducks for Emily. Exactly. Yes, let's go ducks. And then it also leaves more of the gorgeous Anna Maria Horner for you. Uh, to make a bigger block, you can make four of these and put them together. Exactly. Uh, like how you make the hunter start. Exactly, Annie. Exactly that. Um, you just keep going. So, if we're just going to do the one, then this is what we need. But I'll just bear with me and I'll show you how you then work out everything that you need to do. Now, here we go. Half, uh, three inch half square triangles. We've got a lot of spammers today, haven't we? Get rid of these spammers. Right, so one, two. Is that what we've got? So we've got two black and two white. Ducks for me, please, said Geraldine. All right, then we'll do that. So, yep, yeah, two black, one, two, two white. So we write that into our chart. Uh, oh, hang on, we could have done a... Oh. Yeah, we're being spammed, Becky. Um, which I always take as a, as a bit of a... Um, as a bit of a compliment, because I've always seen that we've got lots of people watching and want a bit of that. Ducks! It's like, okay, yeah, ducks, 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 ducks. Uh, right, so we haven't got any of these quarter square triangles. That's fine. Uh, here we go. Now, yes, we've got this quarter square triangle. So we've got one, two, three, four of the white and four of the black. Um, and then how many of these have we got? Well, we've got two white and two of the black pieces. And then if we turn over, what else have we got here? Here we go. We've got this one here, which is this middle bit so we're going to need two white and two black okay um they're getting on all the sewing sites all the spanners yeah they obviously don't know we only focus on fabric i know right <laughs> they've really they've really gauged their market wrong <laughs> 
Um, have we all been spam then? How do we get rid of it? Oh no, it was just on my link. So I just, um, I just delete it and, and block them all over the shop. So here, we, actually, do you know what? Let's go on a, let's go on a jolly old close up. So this is, this is my sheet now. It's Make It Monday, block number one, or block number. That's the other thing. So how many blocks are required for this project? Okay, so say we wanted to do four, then you would put a four in there, and you'd go, right, how many of the white one? None. But I've got two for this one block, I've got two of those squares that I need. So two times four, and you just write, I can't do it back to front, eight in there. And again, you'd need to write two. So if I need four, if we're gonna, you'd basically put four in all of these and then multiply it out. So you'd end up with eight there, eight there. Down here where you've got four, you'd put your four in there and you'd end up with 16, 16 back to, so that would then calculate exactly how much cutting you're gonna, no, uh, you're gonna need. Morning Jane, how are you? Um, and then again over here, you'd put your four in there again and you'd put your eight. I can't do this back to front. Oh, that just looks like infinity, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm doing it back to front under camera. There we go, there we go, all right. So that's if you want to do it for multiples. Did I laminate it myself? No, but you, I mean, Leslie, look, if you want to get your laminator out, I'm not going to stop you. Print some off. On Hayley's website, she's got the sheets you can just print off. Um, so you can do that and laminate to your heart's desire. But we are only going to do one of these blocks. So we'll get rid of those. And so we'll just write, well, they are our totals there, so we don't need to do anything else. So we'll keep that, and then we'll know what we're going to do. Now, the, the only slight thing with this that just sent me, and this is just because um, I, I just can't always remember it, and it's like the little quilty rules that you're meant to remember, and that is, this tells you how many of each you have to cut, but it doesn't tell you the size to cut. So for a three inch finish, these are your finished sizes, you see these blocks. So you've then got to add your seam allowance, which is really easy for the three inch square. You just add a half inch. So you've got a quarter of an inch seam allowance added either side. And that's the same for the rectangles. So for the one and a half inch by three inch, you'd cut two inches by three and a half inches. So you just add on a half inch. But as soon as there's a triangle, we know it's weird numbers. So I have written it down. And what I've done and what I will include in anybody who's bought this from me, you won't get this from anywhere else, but it was, <laughs> it was what I needed. I will put in a sheet of what shape you want and what size you need to cut. Okay, that's the only thing that is lacking for me. And that's just because it's me. Um, Fiona said it's an idiot proof system, definitely need it. Right, it's perfect. Um, uh, buh, 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 buh. There we go. Okay, so um, I love that you guys get as excited um, about laminators as I do. So we're going ducks, aren't we? Secretly, very, uh, it's not even a secret, is it? I'm actually very excited about the fact that we're going with the ducks. Uh, <laughs> hey, I love this one. Okay. It's going to show up a treat. So then you, you allocate which fabric you want for the white blocks and which you want for the black shapes. Uh, so I think let's just keep it really easy. Let's go that the white is going to be the white and the darker fabric is going to be the darker blocks there. Uh, 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 uh. Right. So... Maybe you then want to write down what you need to cut. So let's have a little, of course I went and we'll do it in big and bold. So I need two, let's go ducks here and white here. What I, and this is me, this the next bit is me 
Pam says, thank you, Natasha. You always think of everything. Well, it's just because I used it and then had to go and, and look up somewhere what size it was because it was the weekend, so I didn't want to annoy Jane. Uh, and she wouldn't have minded. Like, she really wouldn't have minded. But I, you know, everyone needs a weekend. So uh, out of the ducks, we're going to have two times three and a half inch squares. That's fine. Uh, then for the half square triangles, half square triangles, for a three inch finished half square triangle, you have to cut three and seven eighths. You see? So we're going to need two times three and seven eighths in both colours. There we go. Uh, b -b 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 but to be honest, if we just cut one square, that will do both. So we know that. Uh, down here, so quarter square triangles. We are going to need um, four of the uh, white and four of the black. Now, quarter square triangles, you've got to cut a finish a square size of four and a quarter. four and a quarter and again we want four of those uh, now we wanted rectangles so we use the one and a half inch by three inch so we're gonna have to cut um, two inches so you just add on a half inch by three and a half inches and that's the same over here two inches by three and a half inches Okay, uh, ba, 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 ba. then let's turn over and then, yep, so then your little squares down here, your one and a half inch squares, you are going to need to cut, oh I didn't say how many of those I needed to cut, did I? Two of those, two times that, two times that, and then down here I need, for my two and a half inch squares, we'll cut uh, two inch squares and we need two times two inch square and again two inch squares that's all my cutting so all i did was go through my chart and that's the only step for me i think Haley's system is absolutely brilliant but and it's it's my lack of knowledge, I'm not Jane, it's my lack of knowledge. Jane would just go, oh yeah, you need a diddle diddle do. Of course. So <laughs> obviously. Uh, can you get spare white thingy and can they be wiped clean? Um <laughs> yes, Heather, or just photocopy them. Um, but yeah, I will I will find you the link for the spare white thingy. Um, and yes, they can indeed be wiped clean. There you go. Gone. Just get a dry a dry marker, uh, a whiteboard marker, whatever they're called, and uh, and just use that. Uh, wipe clean as often uh, as you need. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Here we go. Let's pop these then out of the way. So as ever, my gadgets come into play, obviously. The very first thing that I will want to do is to prep my fabric. All right, so let's move that out of the way. I will, before I even attempt to do anything, I'll give it all a good spritz with the old best press. And um, just, it just makes it so much easier. So this is how I prep my fabric. It also helps get any creases out before I, stop, I start cutting. Uh, I wouldn't best press after I best press before. Always just makes life a lot, lot easier. And I'm only going to use the end of that, so that's going to be nice and easy. We don't need to do that much prep on that. Consider myself prepped there. And then the, the ducks, the ducks. They are just so gorgeous. 
we, <laughs> we had a slight duck-based incident at the weekend. So we have re rescue ducks and they're, they're beautiful and they've worked their way up because they were rescue and they'd only obviously been in a barn. So actually them leaving their duck house to go out into the, the great outdoors was major. And then to actually get them into water was another major thing. And you have to do it little bit at a time, bit by bit by bit by bit. Um, because otherwise they don't have enough oil in their feathers. It's, it's from preening that the oil goes onto their feathers that makes them waterproof. So when they first arrived, <laughs> we had non-waterproof ducks, which just is crazy and makes me laugh quite a lot. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> only me. And um, so then we're like, oh, they're going to need a pond. So we dug them a pond. And then we spent a nice family day um, popping the lining in the pond and the sand underneath it and all of this jazz and then getting buckets of water out the water butts and filling it with water and putting earth around the edges to cut. Perfect, lovely, took all day. Uh, great. And then, um, yeah, Freddie with a garden fork decides to break the ice on the pond and he's gone straight through the liner. <laughs> He thought he was being so helpful. <sighs> yes. <sighs> Could potentially throttle him. But there we go. That's little boys for you, isn't it? Hooray! Love them. Apparently, it's got to. <laughs> right, I'm going to cut a strip of fabric I'm using my little stripology today. Um, I'm going to cut a strip, the, white, the biggest that I need it to be. So that is four and a quarter. So with your mini stripology, it's great because you've, you've got easily available, you've got all of your half inch and quarter inch marks. So if I need a quarter inch, I will spin it around here. And then... I can line up and I know here is my four and a quarter. It's already on there for me, which is fabulous. So then the first thing that I can do on this is cut my four and a quarters. Dee, 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 dee. So cut that edge, get rid of your jaggedy edges, then line up on that quarter inch mark, find your four and a quarter, and cut. There we go, perfect. You can do this with your big rulers as well, absolutely you can. And there we go. So that's that cut. And then the next strip that we'll cut will be three and seven eighths. Okay. And if you want to put like a little sticky mark so that you know which is which, then do. So for the seven eighths, yes, we've got that over here so line everything up and i'm going to add on my eighth because as much as you can add on an eighth you can also take an eighth away as well so if i go to four um oh, hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on what do i need to do what do i need to do three it's three it's right it's Got to do maths, got to do maths. Oh, there, here we go. No, no, don't listen to me. Three eighths and a half is going to give me seven eighths, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. So I'll go to three and a half. I've added on the three eighths. You see, I am not, I'm a, I'm a metric child. So inches for me it's like oh come on 
but it's all good. So again, we'll take off, take off that, that edge. We'll add on that three eighths there. And we'll go to three and a half because we need three and seven eighths. There we go. So that's the next size down. And then you've still got some here because we need two three and a half inch squares. Now I am not going to waste any fabric here. So all I'm going to do is line that up and then trim this down to your three and a half. And again, you will be cutting as many as your little calculations made you, made you do. And I'm just putting mine in size order dunk, 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 on my desk. And then, and then, and then, of course, you've got your um, two inch. Can I fit that in there? Ah, oh, it's just shy of it. Right. Let's cut. We need. That's all we've got left to cut, isn't it? Oh, no, we've got. Okay, so. Let's cut now our two inches. We've got a few of these to do. Two inch strip there. And we've got our little two inch squares, haven't we? So we will cut our two inch squares. We only needed two of those, so that's fine. We've got those. And then we also needed two inch by three and a half inch. So that's perfect. That's half your cutting. Done. So we'll just repeat that. It's really, it is really that easy. I love it. So let's put that and look how much. So out of your half meter heaven. There you go. <laughs> I think you've got plenty. So a half meter heaven, which is basically a meter of fabric, will do you um, a nice lap size quilt you'll be absolutely fine um, or whether you just want to do a block so i will probably um, for captain small make this up into a little lunch box bag or something for her or a cushion or something i like to try and make things that are going to be useful for her and um because she loves the colors as well she'll love this but she's got quite a lot of cushions on her bed already <laughs> We've had a little um, a little jig around. Freddie's now got bunk beds. Um, so his old bed has gone into Emily's bedroom as a spare bed. And um, all that sort of jazz that has to happen when they start to, you know, grow up. Oh, time to grow up. And um, yeah, so we've had a real jiggle around of furniture and whatnot this weekend as well as the uh, the dreaded park walk. Now, let's see if I can actually do this and chat. So let's start off with your four and a quarter. De -de -de -de. There we go. There, oh, that's an eighth and a quarter is the other side. You get used to using, this is the ruler um, out of all of the stripologies that I've used the least. And, um, and it just takes me a while just to get back into the swing of it. I do also like
Are we back? Are we back? Yes, yes, yes. How long, well, how much did you lose? How much did you lose? Yeah, sorry, that's, I, um, I swapped make of batteries. They just don't last. They just don't last. So lesson learned, I will, um, I will not get them again. But you would think that they would last a little bit longer than just a couple of hours, wouldn't you? Uh, okay, so as we were, yay! <laughs> oh, yay! Uh, yeah, so the Stripology ruler, the little one, you know, it's not the one that I use the most because I'm generally doing big strips, but it is absolutely fab for just for just um, trimming these smaller bits. And also because like for one side, you've got your quarter inches and the other side, you've got your um, eighth and three eighths. So when you add everything up, you've got every size that you need. So three and seven eighths. I'll spin it this way because I've got my three eighths, which I will then add. See this time around, I'm like, eh, maths, 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 to my three and a half. but it just, it does make life easy. But yeah, being a metric child, it's always confusing. Always confusing. Or maybe it's not, maybe it's just that like the eighth timetable was always my least liked one. How many of these have I got to do? Oh, sorry, I've only got to do two. Um, and then we trimmed this down, didn't we, to three and a half. Perfect, perfect. And even when I'm just trimming down, I will take from both edges. I will never assume that I've aligned it correctly, ever, um, because it only takes to knock it ever so slightly. And um, there we go. So three and a half. Bum, ba -da -ba -ba. Pop those there. And then we could get, see that's our three and a half. Ooh. Now for some reason, three and a half by two inch. Yes, just enough. Pop that there. And then I've just got to do my little, oh, hang on a minute. See, oh, I honestly mean nothing gets wasted around here. Look, 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 we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. We can use that bit. Now, if you want a fussy cut, of course you can. Yeah, we've got two inch squares, haven't we, to do? Here we go. That's it, that's it, perfect. Just means that you've got no waste. I hate waste, I hate waste. So, two inch, four inch, by the skin of our teeth. There we go. Done. Done. That's all the cutting. Done. Oh yeah. Real time here at Natasha Makes. Always. Always, always. Let's pop those ducks later to good use. Alrighty, so then you've just got to start to build your blocks up. And so we can chain piece quite a lot of this. Uh, but let me show you to start off with quarter square triangles. I'm gonna put the white on top. So right sides together, if you're working with a plane, then you're absolutely, absolutely fine. Whoop, let's move this here. And what I'm gonna, I don't need that anymore. Oh, I can get rid of that one now. Get yourself some sort of marking tool. I normally use one of my marker pens, but I want you guys to be able to see. So quarter square triangles, here's your cheats way. We have a good cheats way, right? So draw a line straight down the middle. See how well trained Jane has got me here to go from the middle out because as soon as you start working with triangles, you know that you are going to um, be using the bias. So um, quarter of an inch, we're gonna do a seam, quarter of an inch, spin it around, quarter of an inch. 
If you want to use a leader or anything like that, then do. So, you know, you can use an old bit of fabric. There's one of our offcuts. Just to take up that tension, then do. Check that everything is beautifully aligned there. We're on a quarter of an inch seam. And let's go. If you wanted to um, stuff in the way, it's moving out of the way. If you want to chain piece these, then you can. Then you'll go down the other side. I know that this is something Jane has done with us a million times, but until, you know, I watch her demos, I'm like, yeah, 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 that's great. I still, I still have that moment where, what do I do? What do I do? So now I've got, let's snip that and snip that. And what we're going to do is cut down that line on both of them and we're going to press them open and, th and then, then see what magic occurs, shall we? So, rotary cut, oh, there's my mini one. Could use that, couldn't we? It's there. It's always whatever just comes to hand. Ba, 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 ba. So then when I press, I'm going to press all to the same side. So it's the thing, isn't it? The colour that you want to press to put on top. So if you want to press to the dark side, put your darker fabric to the top, which is what I'm going to do. Iron on top, set that seam, and then just let the edge of your iron press it to one side. Set the seam. There you go. Easy. And of course, because we've already best pressed, we are good to go. Which is always nice, isn't it? So then, at the moment you've got half square triangles well that's great but that wasn't what i wanted it was quarter square triangles so what i will do is take two and spin one on top of the other okay but i'm going to the reason that i i made sure that i pressed to the dark side so that those lines will will nestle and nest and if you want to pin, then do. Sometimes it's the only downside to having to having such a good pressing mat is that it presses the seams really flat, and you're like, I know you're going to interlock somewhere. There we are. And again, I'm going to mark that down the middle. And yes, I will then just make sure that that is all in alignment. Just pop in a little pin. Okay. And then again, spin around. And all I do is I line up one edge. And then there we go. It does, you're right, Ali, it does give it a much, it does bed the, the seams in. There we go. And then we're going to, so there's our stitch line there. We're going to go horizontally. Now use the markers on your ruler. There's my 45 degree line. I can line that all up. I can line up on my stitch mark, um, all of those. Let 
get myself another little pin, make sure that this side, yeah, those seams are nesting. And then I'm going to repeat exactly the same process and I am going to stitch a quarter of an inch down both sides. So, oh, there we go. Put my little leader in. Oh, I need a new needle, listen to that. And then we go, then we'll spin it all around. Now you don't have to even, um, you don't have to even trim all the uh, snips in between. You can simply spin the whole thing with them still attached if you want. And off you go again. And you'll notice I didn't put the pins anywhere nearby so that I don't have to take them out. Oh, something is not sounding happy in there, is it, this morning? Are you stitching happily? Hmm, you seem to be. When we stop, I'll take that bobbin out because it's making a bit of a racket. that makes a difference. I always start with the bit that sounds a bit off and then see where we go from there. Right, so you take your pins out. Quite a lot there. Snip. And then we're going to cut down that middle line there. Okay. So let's go and do that. So cut on the line that you drew. Now I'm just looking briefly at our design here and wondering if there's, um, if we should be cutting, uh, pressing to any particular side, but I, I don't think so. So what we'll do is, We'll just line them all up and we'll just press them and see where we get to. So embed the stitches and then press to one side. Look at that. Perfect. It really is. This makes me so happy. <laughs> so happy. Sad, isn't it? This book makes me happy. You know what I've done there, don't you? I've only gone and used the wrong size squares. Why didn't you all shout at me? I used the one for the half squares. Oh, well, look. You will use the right... See, you know when I said I should label these? Yeah, I should have labelled these, shouldn't I? Silly me, silly me, silly me. But that, what I'll do is I'll show you how to do, do the pieces and then, you know... We'll do it from there, but that's how you make. And use the right size that you cut, because that helps. It really helps. But look, look at that. Aren't they cute and perfect? Absolutely perfect. That's the other thing. If you ever worry about your points, these are just perfect. Um, now, what we'll do is we'll do the half square triangles with the bigger sizes. Duh. Silly me, honestly. How many of you were um, busy shouting at me while I did that? And did anybody actually notice? Was I just merrily going on? <laughs> uh, we've all done it, says John. Do you know what we really have? And, and that's the thing. Am I going to give myself a hard time or am I just going to put that in a project for later? I'm just going to put it in a project for later. It's not the end of the world. So half square triangles. Let's show you those. How many of these do I need? Uh, we need two. Here we go. Do 
actually. And again, line up your ruler. If you've got the um, Bias Binder Maker kit from Handmade by Haley, she's got a very natty little 45 degree end on her, on her ruler. So you'll be all good with that. Dee -dee -dee -dee. There we go. So again, just down one side. Oh yeah. How are you, John, by the way? Are you all ready and excited to be uh, coming up this way? is not sounding happy in my machine today and yet it's stitching perfectly when we come off air I will do that whole um, is it the needle is it the bobbin is it how it's all set up and you know unthread it thread it again all of that jazz it's like a little service isn't it that you give your machine when it starts making noises you wish it wouldn't I've got quite good now at finding out uh, finding out what it's all about. Is that a kid's song? Let's find out what it's all about. There we go. That's one of my half square triangles made to perfection if in slightly the wrong size. Now we know, don't we, that any of these, oh, I should have done to the dark side, any of these are going to have to have that extra half inch on it because they're going to end up being finished three inch sizes. So they're going to have this. I can now trim back and just check that I've got to the right size, uh, which will be, and actually I need to, don't I now, because obviously I did that wrong. They're wrong. Uh, <laughs> mine made that noise and the... Oh, was the foot a little bit loose? Needle. Oh, oh well. We'll find out. We'll have a look another time. Right. So, we, we know that this has got to be three and a half inches. So, I will line this up. Here we go. Um, this has got a 45 degree line on. There's... Oh, need... I'll cut on the three and a half inch line. So this is great for trimming back your blocks, by the way. And then you can line everything up. You know now that you are good on there. So you can just trim back and you've got your three and a half inch square there and everything is trimmed back a treat. So this is a really handy one. I wanted to bring it out today because we don't use it all that often. It kind of gets overlooked because obviously the stripology is like the star and we love it very, very much. But don't underestimate this little one. It is incredibly useful, really useful just to get the perfect size blocks. So now we line that up like so. Trim there, trim there, and that's our perfect. So it doesn't matter that I've made those, they are now absolutely the correct size. And actually look, <laughs> I've cut, I have cut enough that I can, if I want to, do those the right size. But we'll bear with me because otherwise uh, we'll be here all year potentially. Uh, now then, what was I going to do with these? They are my actual. So let's start to see where we're going here. We're going to have that. We're going to have that. I mean, worst case is I trim everything down a bit. And then we will have that there. Whoop. See if I can show you this on a better shot. I am getting the overhead changed, but there's been quite a lot of COVID in his family, so I'm like, oh well, you know, once you're ready, let's not rush this. Um, here we go. So you just follow what you did. So I've got these with the white ones on the sides there. Then I've got that dark one there there 
same down there and then we've got to do some of these one two one two and then these squares for that middle bit and we are done now lots of ways that we could have done these squares um, we could have just cut out a four inch square a four inch strip and then sewn them together flip them around that's a really easy way there's always going to be more than one way isn't there to do these so you've just got to find the way that is going to work for you and just do that just do that simply do that but I do love the system because it does actually look like what you are what you made and if you do actually use the correct sizes that you you know spent ages cutting then so much the better there we are and then again I'm always going to press the same side so pressing to the dark side on both of these so that my seams will interlock and again making sure that's the really nice thing actually with this about uh, the Lewis and Irene print is that it's super cute and um, they're little they're sort of ditzy animals ditzy sizes is it from the author I want to say it's all things small and wonderful range or something like that but they do they do a range they had otters and stuff didn't they and if you want to pin, look at me pinning. I never used to pin, did I? I'd be like, baff, pinning. What? It's for wimps. But now I'm like, oh no, pin, best pin. <laughs> there we go. And then just sew down that quarter of an inch again. And that's going to give us our middle block. And press. Now I know that Jane would probably go in and um, eek and tweak underneath. And, and you can if you want to. You know, you can unpick those stitches and, and lay them out. But basically, let's give you an idea. And again, using my block. Take a photo of it if you want. You know, you can always take a photo of it so that you know if the cat jumps on it or whatever you're all good but it's a bit sweet isn't it and now all we've got to do is that piece there that piece there that piece there that piece there And we'll be done and that's that's our block but that's why it's really nice to use those contrasting colors those strong contrasting colors and when I put the um, the block of the not the block of the month I don't do the block of the month at all when I put your half meter heavens together I try and vary them so you'll notice that some will have a lining that's lighter um, and a contrast some will be that the colour's just going to be work and be exactly the same, and that's that's absolutely fine. Uh, whichever, whichever you want, um, some will work brilliantly if you want to use it for sashing, if you want to use it for binding, if you want to use it for a lining, if you're making a pouch or something like that. Because I don't know what you're making at home, um, I try. I try to cover all bases with the half meter heavens and give you designer fabrics and of course that matching, that gorgeous matching colour um, because I know it's so hard to match off a screen. It's really hard and we're having to buy online as uh, John will tell you this, you know you do a walk around now with the warehouses on FaceTime and trying to <laughs> trying to match stuff is really hard so I've got these now and then it's a question of just sewing your lines together but I'm going to make sure that I'm following my pattern that I've created so that'll go up like that that'll go down like that 
And as you come to put it together, you know, you'll sew it in rows and then sew those together. Where you, because we've always gone to the dark side, look, I can match those up. And if you want to pop a little pin in, then do. I started pinning like that so that I only have to whip it out at the last moment, or if I want to, it's a long pin, there we go, like that, so that that can stay in for as long as possible, we'll do this line. Press it. Look at it. Just so cute. Um, and then that one and again. Okay, so this time my seams aren't interlocking, but I can just push that seam across so that they do. Or and if you want to press it to make sure that they do, then you can. Or if you want to sit down and work out how to press all the seams so that they're going to interlock perfectly, you can do that too. Or you can just pin it so it doesn't move. It's up to you and none of it is the end of the world. So look. Here we go. That, ta -da! that's that. And then you'd sew that to that, that to that. And then you'd just sew that row to that row, that row to that row, and that will be it done. Obviously, I'm gonna have to redo those squares. I'm not gonna make you hang about and watch while I do, whilst I correct myself, but that, is how you would turn this into reality and then you can just build it up and build it up and build it up. And that's it, it really is that easy. And obviously, like I say, in what we'll add in are the cutting sizes that you need for each of the shapes so that it is supposedly foolproof. <laughs> just make sure you then use the correct sizes and that's it, that's everything. Um, what are you confused about, Geraldine? What have we done? Oh, if you have Haley's ruler set, there's a square that helps you cut the squares you need for the mocker block. Oh, right, okay. Oh, I haven't, I haven't even looked at that. Uh, Lisa says, I'm really late, slept in. Thanks for my parcel of loveliness, fabrics and notions. My absolute pleasure. Oh, I didn't realize, I'll go and have a look at that. I've just used it for binding. I didn't even think to prop it out for that. I'll take a look, thank you. Um, thing is, I love using my creative grids because everything just feels so lovely and stable for me to cut. Um, there we go, we've got all of those. Oh, Haley designed the product to avoid us having to use the seam, add the seam allowance. Well, there you go, you see? That would have made perfect sense. I knew she would have done. Um, Okay, says, I'm back from my meeting, but that looks like the mock-up uh, you had before it started. I thought it looks great, says Janet. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to investigate that now, actually. I hadn't realised. Well, that's a bonus then. If you've bought the two, then you're, you're in luck, aren't you? So, that, there we go. That's how, um, if you've bought the mocker block, that's how to use the mocker block by itself. If you've got Haley's other rulers, then let's have a look at that um, at another time. I will have a look and I will report back to you. Fab. But there we go. That's that. That is how to use the mocker block. Tomorrow, 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 all being well. Oh, thank you, Naomi. She just looks gorgeous. It will do. And you know that as soon as we're off air, I will just quickly do <laughs> squares. Uh, tomorrow, we are here with Joe Carter, weather allowing. Uh, we'll be here whatever, but just hopefully with Joe, as long as the snow goes, because um, I don't want people driving along wearing the snow. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day, whether that's making snowmen um, or whatever, or staying in and keeping warm. It's entirely up to you. But thank you so much for your company. Thank you for bearing with me while I, you know, 
cut the wrong sizes. Uh, but they're still perfect. You know they're uh, they're not going to get wasted, don't you, at all. There's no way that I'm making such perfect blocks <laughs> and then have them go to waste. No way. No way. Look at them. Perfect. Uh, yeah, uh, so I will see you bright and early tomorrow at 10 o'clock hopefully with Joe Carter, weather permitting. Um, oh, Ali says it really got her brain working with the maths. Well, hopefully it takes a lot of the maths out of it. That's, that's my hope. When you've got your sheets and everything, then it really is, it is very basic maths. Um, and, but yeah, I will, I will look on Haley's other rulers and see what's there. Um, but otherwise, if you're using the creative grids like me, they're all there to help. Um, so there we go. Right, I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Um, lots of love. Bye bye.